Welcome to Rail Fans Canada. I'm Shane Sagan. We're taking a look today at the O Train East Extension. It's five stations from Orleans, starting here at Trim, Place d'Orleans, Convent Glen, Jeanne d'Arc, and Montreal Station. Probably take a look at the flyover too that leads into Blair. So stay tuned, stay with us. Hopefully, opening in the next couple months. Westbound to Tunney's Pasture, Trim Station. So here we are at Trim. As you can see, the station is pretty much complete. The station doesn't really look any different than the last time we were here. If you check out our video where there was doors open in June, you can see us going through the whole station, a nice walkthrough. So it's definitely great to see that the station really is mostly complete. Here's the entrance building. So the way it's gonna work, people will go into the station from here, go through the fare gates, and then there's another entrance just behind the station marquee there that will come back out to the bus loop over here. So the bus loop and the train station are part of a fare paid zone so people will go in through this entrance and exit through this entrance. It's going to be great to see the station in use and obviously if we look the other way you can see the park and ride, lots of accessible parking spaces over here. I mean, it's, you can't even tell at ground level how big this parking is. It's quite large. And there's potential for even more expansion in the future should it be needed. Next station, Place d'Orleans. Here we are now at Place d'Orleans Station, and as you can see, definitely nearing completion. This is the Champlain Street overpass entrance, and then you also have the entrance from the park and ride. Behind here on the red original pedestrian crossing, and then from either the bridges coming from the bus station on the other side. You can see from here, Big long escalator, elevators and stairs coming down from the upper level down to platforms in the middle. And over here you can see the ticket vending machines. The entrance just on the other side here. Beyond which the fare gates. So if we look in here for the Champlain Street entrance, you can even see the sign they're testing it. Next train to Tunney's Pasture, Trim. That's exciting, isn't it? The fare gates, cars passing underneath. It's very exciting. Get just another angle from Champlain. You can see the platforms underneath. And then again, the pedestrian crossings that go towards the bus station. The white one here is for the new fare paid zone connected to the bus station and the red one is to cross from the mall itself the bus station or to get to the park and ride or just if people want to cross the highway and not driving by Champlain here you can use that as well you don't have to pay you don't need to tap a card you can just go straight on through just as you were able to before here's another angle again from Champlain going down and then the main entrance that I'm sure most people are gonna be accessing the train from as you can see, it's really raised up on pillars. You can see the elevator shafts behind. A long stainless steel escalator over here. Just behind there, you can see the old red crossing. The new white crossing over here. Going into the new station building here with the elevators. Next station, Convent Glen. Here we are now at Convent Glen Station, just 
west of Place Orleans. As you can see, they're still doing some work outside here on the sidewalk and areas. And just like what we'll see at Jeanne d'Arc, the next one after this, which we can see in the distance, fairly complete. The station itself is pretty much complete. They have uh, red security barriers on the edge because trains are circulating from time to time. That's going to ramp up in the next couple of weeks leading up to the opening. And on the other side, you can see they're doing some other work on the entrance and the sidewalks. You can see here they've also expanded the side areas here. Bike locker storage, fire hydrant. This side has also been reworked with the sidewalk. They're not necessarily any wider than they used to be. Unlike Jeanne d'Arc, they've really got an extension. And from this side, you can see the fare gates, the next train displays, the windows, so they're definitely probably doing a cleanup. Last bit of fixtures, you can see the fare gates on this side haven't been installed yet. They're still wrapped up and loaded on skids. But it looks to be on this side pretty much the main thing still to happen. And from the opposite side here, you can see the platforms underneath, elevator stairs, the guideway that continues on to Jeanne d'Arc. Next station, Jeanne d'Arc. Here we are at Jeanne d'Arc station, and the area looks virtually complete at this point. Sidewalks, the large plaza area, which I really like. As you can see, the sidewalks here, going uh, south on both sides of the overpass, look pretty complete. So from this angle, we can see the entrance here on Jeanne d'Arc Boulevard overpass. And looking down, we can see the tail end of the platforms as they go underneath the overpass here on both sides. You can see one of the traction power substations that provides a point in which the local power gets transformed to the 1500 volts DC necessary to run the trains and the stations. Once again, the bike racks, you can see the bus stop over there. These sidewalks are really, really wide. It's impressive how they've improved and widened them all across. Very well designed and, and really wide sidewalks. Look how wide this is. This is at least three times wider than it used to be. It's great. Lots of space for people to wait for buses and transfer. And just like at the other station, they're obviously testing the signage. So this is something that we're going to see in the coming months. Especially once the line opens, we're going to see trains heading towards Tunney's Pasture and other trains heading towards Trim. Next station, Montreal. And here we are now at Montreal Station. Definitely invite you to check out our behind the scenes exclusive where we visited the station passing from the entrance all the way up to the platforms and back out again. So check that out on our YouTube channel or on the card at the top of the screen. At the station, once again, very impressive entrances underneath the Highway 174 overpass on both sides with the platforms above, making it very unique on the east extension. It's the only one where the platforms are above the entrance. And finally, we're taking a quick look as the tracks and guideway lead up to the 174 flyover that transfers the tracks from the highway median onto the north side of the road to head into Blair Station. Next station, Blair. And as testing continues and we'll start ramping up over the coming weeks, you can be sure we're going to be seeing trains running from Blair all the way to Trim Road as we lead up to the opening, hopefully months away now, for O-Train Stage 2 East.
Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and share your comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the rails in the months ahead.